Hello buddies. Now I'm going to record a video, record a detailed video for show you this particular this particular HR 10 12 or the HR 10 10. The soil soil interlocking hydraulic block machine. Now I want to show you now you can see we try to equip the two pieces of the block machine hydro form one and the second one. So um, as the requirements from our customer, we design the material conveyor, the material conveyor. One piece of the, uh, how to say, is a separate, separate uh, transfer. That means uh, from the one hopper of the material, the soil, I plan to drop down the material inside of the hopper firstly. And I will give you the, the switch, which can be left transfer and the right right side transfer for the material to separate the soil material to each other to each other i will show you and here is the conveyor belt for the bricks transfer out this one conveyor belt look at my block machine uh, i have a question here do you think uh, it's possible for this machine to produce a concrete concrete uh, interlocking bricks if you have the answer you can leave your comments on the mind videos and because uh, today we just uh, use uh, the small mixer because we just test this uh, machine so we just use a small mixer very small mixer to to mix in the soil to mix in the soil and uh, and for this particular line we design a conveyor belt, a conveyor machine from the mixer, from the mixer for the soil. You can see the soil. It's a normal soil, normal soil. But uh, as we know, the, the soil tips is different from each, each country, from uh, different countries. Like in Africa, uh, the soil they have uh, has some powder, has some standard powder which is more stronger to produce the hydro form blocks. But in China, uh, in our city, in Li city, there's only this kind of, this kind of soil. It's like the red or yellow, we call it uh, yellow soil. <coughs> so with, the, with this conveyor, we will transfer the material, like what you see, uh, up, to the, up to the hopper, up to the hopper. The hopper will hold uh, the soil material for a second, for a while, and after, so we will uh, to switch, to control the switch, to let the soil material transfer left, uh, left side to the, to this hopper, to this hopper. And uh, after, if you feel, if you think the, the hopper is lack of the material, you will transfer, you will switch on the electric motor to transfer to be the right size to load the material inside the hopper so it's a, a double function it's a very nice design and i want to show you our block machine look at here here is the hydraulic station <coughs> hydraulic station area and what you see now is the big motor it's big electric motor you can see now we take use uh, how much kilowatts uh, we, we take use 18.5 uh, kilowatts 18.5 kilowatts this one is three feet it's three feet and the current uh, the current is uh, 36.5 amp 36.5 amp and uh, uh, will be connect is this one is the pump is the oil pump will be contacted by uh, this one this one is easy to be exchanged if the, you know if some some sometimes this one is broken down it's more easier for you to exchange so we will supply you the enough spare parts for this one yeah and uh, This one is uh, 
the pro production a sheet production sheet it can be maybe some people stand here and will be a dangerous will be a little dangerous so with this production protection sheet it will be uh, prevent uh, the people the labor from the danger you can say i want to explain how this particular block machine works okay this one is the first is the first hydraulic station inside this box you will feel the hydraulic oil okay and this one is the exact for the hydraulic oil this one hydraulic hose will be pumped will be pumped out the oil will be pumped out by this oil pump from this pipe no no from this one yeah and here is the weave here is the weave i want to show you the brand we normally we take use the famous brand in china and the quality is uh, super it's super granted it's super granted and over here is the weave is the weave weave uh, it's a little too hard for me to shoot inside and this one for you to adjust uh, no 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 to see the how much pressure exact the machine supplied at the crinter at the crinter times here is the the meter show you to show you and uh, if you would like to try to uh, if you think the pressure is not so high as you want you can try to take use this one to adjust to to to, to make a large to enlarge your pressure of the hydraulic the host the host the host hydraulic system by this one this one yeah you can adjust mm. and uh, i want to ask you a question do you know what's this do you know what's this this blue this blue tank this blue tank will be connected with the weave, weave. and uh, so the hydraulic oil will be flow inside will be entrance here will be entrance uh, this blue tank and uh, there's another exit will be blue out will be blue out the oil from this blue tank back to the hydraulic station back to the hydraulic oil tank so do you know what's this so do you know what's this if you know this uh, you can leave your answer on my videos if you know that do you know uh, do you know the function of this blue tank you can also leave your answer on my videos and uh, look at uh, our block machine design and with this particular block machine we take use all of the parts and the frame of the iron we take use a very you know the thickness of the steel you can see this one we take use two 20 millimeter 20 millimeter in order all of the wheels all of the no the channel the channel can be can be driven very well and also you can hear we take use two pieces of the channel you can see one this one is one right it's upper it's it's upper one it's upper one and this one is down one it's it's nether it's nether one so with these two channel the the gear the gear of the this one you see the gear can be dropped between these two channel bars so it will be more balanced will be more balanced and, and stable look at and this one is the sensor this one is the sensor to control the location of the material cut go back <coughs> that means uh, <coughs> 
That means you see this one ion pass. If this ion pass attach this sensor, that means uh, the material cut, the material cut is get better, get uh, to the back location. And after, you see, it's go on, it's go forward. This material cut to push to push the material up forward. And after this ion, this ion attack, uh, approaching approaching this sensor, so it will be stop. So it, uh, this inside function is very easy for you to understand. And uh, compared with other suppliers, we you know we equipped another very important uh, system. It's called uh, the second time uh, transfer system. You can see now the, an, 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 another uh, electric motor, electric motor with the reducer to bring the conveyor belt to bring the conveyor belt for. You know, to for bring the bring the soil from this hopper, from this hopper, from the material hopper, directly down to, down the material cut. That means uh, how much you would like to use the material soil soil material. That means you can control how much quantity of the soil material up to the up up from the hopper down directly directly down inside this material cut. Because sometimes, if you don't like, if you don't need so much material, you know, you understand. Sometimes, if we, if we didn't give you this system, transfer system, anytime the material is too much follow inside of the material cut, it's not good for you to mold the blocks. So this one is, uh, I think, is a very important advantage. Advantage. Uh, and uh, I want to show you by this side. This one is the uh, hydraulic uh, hydraulic cylinder uh, to push, no, to to bring how to say to bring the material cut forward and back, forward and back. And you can see uh, inside inside there's a, a frame, a strings a strings frame. A strings freeze in the middle, and also we do the the stronger a stronger frame iron frame to do a uh, hard seal. It will be keep this material card is more stronger than before. It can be keep this material card more stronger than before. This one uh, angle, the iron angle. This one iron, and you can see inside. And look at uh, the thickness of the steel we take use. It's very thick. It's very thick. It's very strong. And uh, come to the right size. Now electric motor with the fans, with the fans inside, with the fans inside, electric motor. And uh, I, will, I would like to follow in the, my previous uh, the first question to ask you how to use the how to use this uh, two two holes the mouse you see what is the function for connection if you have the answer you can leave your leave if you have you can leave your answer on my videos and here is for the for the air compressor for the air compressor. So the air, the air compressor will be connected by here, will be connected by here to supply the, the air. To supply, I will show you another one. See the air compressor, the air compressor, the pipe, the air compressor, the pipe will be contacted with connected, connected here. You follow, follow inside.
Okay, later I will show you. Later I will show you uh, in detail and try to give, give you uh, more explanation for you to understand uh, which parts is for uh, what's the each uh, the function of each part. Later I will show you. Uh, okay, now come to the mode. Come to the mode area. Here is the mode area, and for this particular mode, uh, we design. We design one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen. You see, that double narrow, right? Double narrow. So it can produce ten pieces of the bricks at one times. And look at our mold. Look at our mold. And the thickness, uh, this one is twenty millimeter. Twenty millimeter is more stronger, right? And look at our welder. Welder is also nice. And look at this. Look at this, the thickness of the the frame, the iron frame, right? Compared with other small suppliers, you will feel, uh, you see, the we 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 pay more attention on the quality to the quality. Here is the yellow is, uh, you see, the color I think is very beautiful. Compared with the white or the green or the black, I don't like the black color. So the yellow color should be the the major the major color for the construction machinery. So what? So and uh, here is the mode is the down mode. The down mode you can see we take use the one two. Uh, each each bricks has uh, has has tooth. Iron frame, one is uh, up one. Uh, the second one is uh, is the no, is, no no is the back one. So it will be support and make sure that each mode will be each mode life will be more longer, will be more longer. And look at the frame of the of the bottom size of the bottom size. The frame of the bottom size. Look at look how much. All, all, all of the iron frame we take use very thick, very strong, very solid, very strong. Okay. You can feel this one because this one bottom bottom of frame should be should should be strong enough to support to support the 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 pressure because you know. The pressure now for this particular block machine, we take use um, 200, 200 tons, two hundred tons for the compressor. This hydraulic cylinder, the capacity, the capacity of this hydraulic cylinder is two hundred tons, two hundred tons, and we design the three, the three hydraulic um, how to say, the cylinder to compress.